Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn about how to use what if parameter in Power BI. I am considering these features under AI and Power BI category. Before moving to Power BI, let us first understand why do we need this what if parameter? Because this what if parameter will help us to make decision for a project. For example, what if sales increase by 10% or what if we decrease item cost by 1% then what will be the result? So now every time you don't want to create all the reports for 10% uh, changes or 1% changes. So you need some parameter slicer which will help you on the runtime you will see the changes in your report and definitely it will be a very user interactive report to your customer. In this case study, I am using this Kaggle data source for US Superstore. Now in uh, some of the some of you are asking me like uh, from where I am getting this data source or I need to mention the data source. So please go to the description section of this video. I have provided all the links for the Kaggle data source link, my blog links, everything even the working file. You just need to go to the description section of this video. Okay. Now I am in Power BI desktop. First I have import this US Superstore data. Okay. Now it has different type of measures like uh, discount, profit, quantity and sales. Now I want to see if I am going to change the discount from one range to another range then how the sales value will be varied for different range. To implement this first we need to create a what if parameter. How will you do that? Just go to this modeling section under what if group you will get new parameter. One point to remember there is another parameter in power query editor but there is a difference between this what if parameter and this power query parameter. What if parameters are only available in the report and can be used in DAX calculation whereas Power Query parameters are available in Power Query editor only and this parameter changes the behavior of a query. Okay? Now you understand what is what if parameter and what is Power Query parameter. Okay? Now we are going to create a what if parameter. In this example you have seen that I have already created one what if parameter but don't worry I will show you how you can create that. Just click on this new parameter and here you can provide the name. Here you can observe only three types of data type are available whole number, decimal number and fixed decimal number. For this purpose I have selected this decimal number and you need to provide some zero value and maximum value I have selected one. Then how it will be incremented? I will just create it at 0 0.01 and you can add some default value and click on this checkbox add slicer to this page. If you click on this OK button then automatically this table will be generated and if you click on this table you can find out there are two fields discount range value and the discount value. Now if you click on this table you can find out this is a generate series DAX function is creating 0 is the minimum value, 1 is the maximum value and 0 0.01 is the increment value. If you can remember in the what if parameter dialog box we have given 0 0.01 ok. If you click on this discount range value you can find out another DAX function selected value within this range and 0.01. So in this way your what if parameter is in place and this table is also generated. My slicer is there but how will I use that ok. For that purpose what I have done I have this uh, sales value ok. So I have created one revised sales. In the revised sales I have selected this discount range value. Which one is the discount range value? Under this discount range table this is the discount range value. So I have selected this discount range value into sum of 
this sales value. Now my measure is in place, okay? But how will I use this measure? To use this discount range what if parameter, what I have done, I have created one waterfall chart. And there, under this category section, I have used this order date where I am keeping only year and month. In the breakdown, I am using this category. This category is nothing but the product category. And this value is revised sales value. Now you can observe, if my discount range is 0 0.20, then how this revised sales values are implementing. For example, if I am going to change this, you can observe it is changing. In this way, you can use what if parameter in your project. Here I am using this waterfall chart. It could be possible you can use another data visualization like uh, uh, any other donor chart or any other views, okay, which will provide you the more insight about your project, okay. So uh, I hope you understand how to use this what if parameter. If you want to know more step by step, go to my blog. You can find out all the uh, steps and go to the description section of this video. You will get this working file, data source file and blog details. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.